So we finished on the stage, and now we're up in the booth. This is the tech booth, where all of the tech for shows is run. Um, we have sound on this side, and we have lighting on this side, and over in the corner we have the stage manager's thing. Stage manager's station is probably the proper word for it. Um, so during a show, there will be a number of technicians who come up here, and by technicians I mean you guys, uh, who will come up and run lighting and sound. Uh, and a stage manager, either uh, Mary or uh, Alex or myself, uh, generally, who will be here, who know where all the cues go, and who know how the show runs, and will know when to call each cue. So we will tell you, for instance, standby lighting 17, you will say standby, and at the proper point in the script I will say lighting 17, go, and at that point you would push the button to make the lights go. Uh, we'll talk about that in more detail once we get to lighting and sound later on, but enough to say that that's this, this is where all that technological magic happens. So let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, this is the lighting station over here. Uh, we have a lighting console, we have another lighting console, and we have buttons you can push. Here in lighting, you'll be sitting here. So this is this. Everything in here controls the lighting on stage. It controls where the lights come up, where they come down. Everything over here, on this side of the booth, is sound. Generally, if you're running sound, you're actually sitting at this computer because um, we can set up a lot of the sound stuff beforehand. So all you have to do is tell it when to go. And actually, you'll be doing the stage manager will tell you when to fire the cues, and you'll just be responsible for pulling the trigger, making it happen. But if we were ever to do live sound in here, if we were to run microphones, if we were to have a band in here, it's not going to happen. But if it did, you'd have these two, like these two sound consoles. We have a digital one here, and we have an analog one here. And they look really scary, but they're actually super friendly. If you need to know how to use these, someone will show you how. I will go over it to some degree in lighting and sound later on. But for now, just know that everything from that side up to about here is sound. Everything from here to here is lighting. And then the stage manager's over here. The stage manager, you'll get to know them, they're your friend. They know, they've been part of the process from the beginning, and they know when each cue is supposed to happen. They know where the actors are supposed to be at a given time. They know uh, your blocking, where you're supposed to be standing. They know your lines, where you're supposed to, what you're supposed to be saying. They have it all written in front of them in a book. They know where things are supposed to be. They know when the cues are supposed to happen, and they are in charge of making it all happen properly. Our next class is actually about stage management, so we'll go into more detail then. But just to know that if you walk into the booth and you're like, what are these people doing? This person here is doing sound. This person here is doing lighting. And this person here is the stage manager. And they're the adult, and you should talk to them. Uh, there's two little TVs over here. You get the stage manager's uh, booth. Uh, it's not so they can catch the game. Though those are closed circuit cameras that are attached to, or closed circuit video, I should say, that are attached to that camera in the middle of the room there that points at the stage, and another camera down in the green room that points at the door. So they have a view of what's happening on stage and what's happening in the green room. Why do they need a camera that's pointing at the stage? Um, because it's a night vision camera. You can see what happens in the dark. So if you were in a blackout all of a sudden, you could see where people are on stage and you can see when the stage is clear so that you can bring up the lights. That's why that's important. Also, that camera doesn't just go to this booth. This is what's called program video, and it goes 
anywhere in the theater it needs to go. So there's a TV in the green room that lets us see what's happening on stage. There is another one of these monitors in Jeff's office so that he can see what's happening on stage. There is a monitor in the lobby that we're going to go see in a bit that shows what's happening on stage. So that's a, it's, a, it's not a great shot of the stage, but it's a very informative shot of the stage. It shows us exactly like what is happening on stage. You can see that people are moving around. You can see that there's a show happening. You have some indication of color. It's great for seeing if there is a show happening and what's going on, giving you an indication of what's happening. It's not like sitting in the theater, but it's like sitting in front of a TV that's watching the theater. In addition to program video, we also have what's called program sound. So right next to that camera, you're not gonna be able to see it in the shot, I don't think, but there are two microphones that are also pointing at the stage. And similar to the same way that the camera is looking at what's happening on stage, the microphones are listening to what's happening on stage. And that sound gets sent to speakers in the ceiling of this booth, it gets sent to a speaker in Jesse's office, it gets sent to speakers in the dressing rooms, it gets sent to the green room, um, and that way, anybody in those rooms can hear what's happening on stage and it lets you know if your cue is coming up. So that you don't have to be waiting in the wings for the whole show. You can get off stage from your scene, you can go and get changed, you can have a drink of water, you can listen for your cue and you can get into place and be ready. It's also really helpful for us in the booth because uh, you might be able to see in the shot that there are some windows in front of this booth, which are normally closed. We have them open for this so that I can talk to you like this. Um, but generally during a show, these windows are going to be closed and that muffles a lot of the sound. It, it means that the sound inside the booth doesn't get out into the audience, but it also means that the sound in the room doesn't get into the booth. So we need the program sound so that we can hear what's happening. We can hear, so we can hear what the program is. Program sound, because you're listening to the programming for that evening. Program video, because you're watching the programming for that evening. Got it? So, that's the booth, really. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. In any other year, this would be Mary's office as well. Not this year, because 2020. Um, but uh, normally, she'd be sitting here as well. So, not to say that if you're in here, be very respectful and careful of where you are, uh, because there's a lot of very sensitive equipment, very expensive equipment, very uh, delicate stuff, and we don't want little fingers poking at shit. Over in this corner here, there's a ladder that only myself or Jesse can use, or Alex, and it goes up to the catwalks. And that's where we're gonna go next. <laughs>